Hello, good evening everyone on the plateau. Good evening, good people of plateau. I want to welcome you all to our second uh, flotilla online presentation in which uh, this was uh, planned because uh, we realized that there are new BAs who were added uh, on the flotilla local government platforms in which uh, this presentation is targeted at educating those BAs I'm your host, presenter, uh, Jones Ferrari. I'm an ICT consultant, as you all know me. I'm also a security architecture. I am uh, the CEO and the chairman of uh, Young Technical Minds uh, Initiatives. And uh, the Young Technical Minds Initiatives is uh, all about uh, uh, bringing in together young minds together to see how uh, we can develop technical and uh, ICT ideas to see how we can move uh, the nation forward. We are into uh, surveillance and we are into uh, satellite, uh, we are into um, um, digital technology and uh, we also into chipset and uh, we are also into programming. So uh, we do a lot of things and we ensure that uh, we impact knowledge to the young people to see how uh, they can also develop themselves. But uh, for now, Flotilla Services, in which uh, our company was able to bid for the super service uh, provider, uh, uh, we are a franchise company from the uh, North Central Nigeria. We are representing the North Central Nigeria in, uh, to ensure that uh, we uh, spread for Flotilla Services across all the states under the North Central region. So it's our duty to start from uh, Plateau State, which is uh, where uh, we come from. And after we have uh, finished the three months here, uh, we can move forward to another state to see how we can keep sharing this wonderful innovation uh, to the people. Flotilla is uh, all about uh, uh, providing tracking system where you configure uh, before the uh, something comes up in the future you can see how a lot of people today are suffering because of insecurity someone will just snatch your phone you can never do anything about it even if you go to the police you spend a lot of money and you know it's still not guaranteed so uh, flotilla came with the solution to see how um how they can cop such incidents and uh, how uh, intelligent information can be provided from the back end and uh, to see how such devices can uh, be recovered. Uh, our contact uh, uh, near you, uh, um, uh, sorry, our agents will also be our contacts wherever they are and uh, they will also be involved in uh, these services. So uh, our company is uh, at... Uh, I'm at the Way, number 11, and uh, we are working under the franchise of Aishan Global Software Limited uh, at Block A11, Aso Estate Airport Road by Con Oil Bay, Abuja. That is our head office where we got uh, this partnership from, and uh, this company is doing great, and uh, they are really, really doing great, and they want to ensure that... Uh, they empower whoever market the services of uh, Flotilla. So uh, Flotilla, about Flotilla IoT, uh, is a company based in Dubai, and they are doing into uh, uh, mappings, uh, satellite, uh, GPS, and they transmit information when they work with uh, those uh, those uh, three and when they put things together, they provide a surveillance that is helpful to our society today. As a big company, Flotilla IoT uh, is having a very big company profile in which uh, uh, they are also willing to share with you all. And uh, I think uh, maybe when you take your time, you're going to go through all this uh, information in which uh, you can see the visions, the missions of the flotilla and uh, their values. It's a company who have a very high standard of values and with such values, you can know what they can do and predict what where they are heading to. Look at our products here. We have uh, services for fleet management. 
when we say fleet management we're talking about the vehicles the mobile phones the tricycles planes whatever you move from one place to another that uh, requires uh, technology backup uh, it's uh, what we mean here so this is where we are going to put more emphasis and this is where we are going to put attention uh, for the asset management and the attendance management uh, where by the time we know more of the fleet management system it's going to be easier for us to get uh, to the next uh, two but for now we're going to concentrate on such products Flotilla IoT fleet management have key features like uh, real-time tracking, uh, dashboard summary, and uh, historical reports. Anytime, anywhere access, trip histories, alerts and geofencing, uh, speeding and idling, uh, route replay, reports and analytics, user-friendly interface, access control, and user management. Um, um, Flotilla also have attendance management in which uh, we are not going to lay more emphasis on for now um, in which we are just all about fleet management services it also have the asset management services in which you can also learn on how to use Flotilla to manage your assets and uh, Flotilla is an integration in which uh, is extending the life of your current systems our current systems and uh, we, we when we work together as a team we are definitely going to get the results that we need and we are going to provide uh, surveillance to our families and friends uh, so um, concentrating and coming back to the need and importance of flotilla flotilla is very good because it has a pre tracking system you set up the tracking before something happens and it also have backup for security purpose uh, wherever you go as far as you have tracked yourself with flotilla you can easily have backups from somewhere where you've been monitored uh, it has a live location updates with flotilla services you get your live location updates exact updates accurate updates and uh, it's very very good for your own uh, uh, intelligence uh, it has satellite maps, the real-time 3D maps, and it has real-time tracking, in which is going to be the most interesting uh, uh, topic to talk about. Who can use Flotilla? Mobile phone users can use Flotilla. That's those with Android phones. And, uh, you know, um, the compatibility is uh, not too equidistant from the... Uh, two different uh, phone levels uh, classifications that we have uh, but uh, if you have a phone from Android version uh, 8 9 upward I think uh, you enjoy the services of Flotilla uh, so uh, you the vehicle owners who have the cars can also install on their vehicles even if something happens they can easily track down their vehicles but the same goes to motorcycles and tricycle owners, uh, fleet management companies, all those motor parks, companies and organizations, uh, security personnel, they all need the services of flotilla units. We are going to talk about units because as we proceed, uh, uh, know uh, that uh, the units uh, are referred to the devices to be captured and be tracked this could be mobile phones motorbikes tricycle vehicles trains ship or any movable electro powered device so further when you hear me talk about units you need to know that uh, this is what I'm talking about so this lesson today is uh, directly uh, prepared for the brand activators and we are going to know what the brand activator is and what you're going to do and how you're going to get paid and uh, your duties like examples the duties of the brand activator uh, is expected to market flotilla services to a client and after convincing the customer you collect payment and capture his details on a paper list then you upload to server using the ffms plateau app in which we shall talk about in, uh, in course of these classes and the client will be contacted further by the service provider for the next line of uh, action so uh, if you can understand very well the duty of the brand activator is uh, marketing and uh, installation 
the client uh, activates by himself and um, we also from there we uh, take charge of uh, moving the system to whoever is being recommended by the brand activator so as you can understand the brand activator is playing a major role in seeing how flotilla services is going to extend to the uh, uh, grassroots and to the larger part of the society uh, so uh, the BA has a target uh, every day as the BA goes out uh, to the field there is a target that you have in which uh, a brand activator is expected to capture uh, a minimum of uh, 10 units daily for three months to become a franchised service provider the service provider is someone who is in charge of all the work that the BA is doing. The service provider is the one who put it on the system, who always give you a response, who always uh, uh, bring you up to the flotilla system. And uh, the service provider is allocated to, to each local government so to make the network become easier. As we go further, you understand more uh, of what I'm trying to say about that. But for the target, you need to understand that uh, uh, you need to get uh, uh, 10 minimum units daily, 10 minimum units. So you have to activate 10 people with mobile phones or is it their cars or their Kekena pep, whatever you activate, then 10 is, you know, out of it is your minimum standard. So that when you can do that for three months, you can also become a service provider so that you can continue to gain uh, double benefits of uh, where you are placed. So um, um, there are some requirements to become a, a, a brand activator. Uh, 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 um, you need to, to, to have an Android mobile phone and uh, you need to be a mobile operator. When I say mobile operator, I mean you, either you're a POS operator, your mobile phone repairer, or you a software installer, or maybe you mobile phone accessory stores, or you can also be a tech personnel who, you know, you have access to people, you have access to schools, you have access to the market, where you can easily market Flotilla and install the services to those who have interest, in which is supposed to be an interest of everyone to get security cover on your mobile phone so that uh, whenever you are in distress, you can have backup so um a brand activator should possess the uh, minimum ideas these little ideas of the google play store uh, the google maps and uh, the ffms plateau app of, of which we are going to talk more about in the course of our discussion a brand activator is expected to go to the cashier page on the ffms app and to pay 5,000 Naira for Flotilla, uh, a T-shirt and agent banner, which is compulsory for all brand activators. Uh, we hope to give this free of charge, but uh, the Flotilla company has, uh, in their policy, they are not going to give us any money. So whatever we're going to do, we are going to use our money to develop it and also get back through the, uh, the benefits that we shall all get back. So a brand activator is supposed to be branded in Flotilla brand because uh, if you are going to market the services to the people, they have to recognize that uh, you have the ID card of Flotilla, you have the T-shirt of Flotilla, the face cap of Flotilla, and if you have a shop, you are going to have the agent banner with the address of your shop written boldly on it with our barcode clearly uh, on your banner. So uh, without the barcode, you know, when we come to verify without the barcode on your banner, it will show us you are not an authentic uh, Flotilla service installer. So all our uh, brand activators uh, will ensure that uh, they have uh, the banner and they have the T-shirt so that uh, people can know that, yes, uh, you are really uh, serious about it now we are going to talk about the cash benefits of the brand activator and uh, the brand activator has uh, uh, income in which uh, is going to sustain him uh, more and more as you perform more in your uh, activations so you have to pay very more attention here 
so that uh, you can uh, understand uh, the cash benefits for uh, a, 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 a brand activator. A brand activator uh, gets 20% of all the units uh, you captured. Uh, for example, if you capture 20 mobile phones daily, you are expected to make a total of uh, 20 times 500, which is 10,000 Naira daily. 20% uh, of uh, 10,000, as you can see mathematically, it's 2,000 daily. Uh, monthly is going to be multiplied by 30 days and uh, uh, you can get uh, 60,000 Naira monthly. That's uh, if you can be able to only activate minimum of 20, uh, which you have also uh, the target of 10. If it's at the end of the day, you get only 10 and more money for you if you capture the motorcycles and the vehicles and other uh, flotilla services like uh, uh, that uh, you can do as far as you can, as much as you can do, uh, you can go, you can get more uh, benefits. So um, uh, you will get paid uh, when due payments are made weekly on Sundays. We make payment on Sundays because uh, in our own calendar, we we don't accept uh, uh reports on sundays uh even if you capture people on sunday you have to just make it a monday report because uh on saturdays we compile all the work you have done as a brand activator and uh, after they are all being verified uh you receive your payment directly to your account we pay directly to the brand activators account using our uh online uh, payment system that uh, will be programmed and uh, all payments will be made when due there will be no delayed payments and uh, all errors will be corrected before payments so um please and please you should understand that uh, whatever you work for you're going to get it immediately when it's due so you sit back relax as we all have your account numbers and uh, all your account numbers will all be input in the Excel sheet for the um, disbursement. So uh, the pricing of the units to be captured uh, is next what we are going to talk about. Because as we understand, uh, we are not just uh, installing mobile phones. Even the mobile phones are categorized into two and uh, even the other devices in which we're going to pay attention now to see more about the pricing and costing category so as we can see on the charts here um 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 the device units are android phones from version 8 below um, android phones from version 9 above uh, most of the general public, as when we make our research, we understand that um, they mostly use the Android version 8 and below, in which you can see the one-time cost for inst activation is 500 Naira. And uh, it starts the chance to get uh, to pay $4 subscription monthly to go live on the server we are going to pay some little more attention here because this is where the job is whatever you do however you market flotilla services to the general public this is the price that you are going to activate each of the devices we emphasize more on the first one, which is Android version 8, 500 Naira, because majority falls under that. But as people hold different gadgets, uh, different devices, standards, categories, we have all separated them on the price leads here. So if you look carefully, you're going to see that um, um, uh, Android uh, version 9, Upward is 700 Naira and uh, iPhone version 7 downward that's down to iPhone 6, iPhone 5, iPhone 4 uh, is 800 Naira. And, um, 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 iPhone um, and uh, iPhone 7 Plus upward, I beg your pardon, a thousand Naira and uh, laptops all. Uh, 
1,500 all laptops and um, motorcycles, Okada, 2,000 Naira, motorcycle, power bike, 2,000 Naira, uh, tricycle, all tricycles, uh, 2,000 Naira, and uh, cars, uh, 3,000, and uh, bus, 4,000, lorry, 5,000, uh, trailer, uh, 7,000, train, uh, 10,000, plane, 15,000, and uh, uh, 20,000 for ship. That is the activation per unit of uh, all this we're talking about. And uh, I know in due course, the prices can be reviewed and we expect uh, the company will do something a little better. But for now, this is what we are going to work with and we are need to uh we are all going to have a copy of this through your uh service providers and all brand activators are expected uh, to print it out so that uh you will avoid uh, misconceptions so um we also have subscriptions the subscriptions prices are there uh, in dollars because uh flotilla is a foreign company and uh, their services is not in Nigeria, and they do their own services all the way from Dubai. And um, in Dubai, you know, they deal with dollars, and uh, they do all their transaction in dollars. So we cannot have a fixed price for flotilla subscriptions because uh, they only charge you four dollars for a month, and during that month you have a cover, and the cover that you have is a. Uh, uh, whatever happens, you are going to get 100% cover and uh, you can cover that money that you are spending uh, when an arrest is made and uh, you you can recover it back because uh, if that person who stole your vehicle or your, or your, or your phone uh, is being caught by the police, you know, he will be charged to court and if he doesn't want to go to court, he will be given an option where he pays all these uh, expenses. So the customer is not uh, supposed to be afraid or the client is not supposed to be afraid because uh, it's just like a savings. So whenever you can have security backup, it's very, very important. So uh, the subscriptions requirement is also there in which uh, uh, what Flotilla does in the foreign countries is uh, everyone must pay a one year subscription at the point of activation. That is 12 months. But uh, because of uh, our own system here in Nigeria, when we have uh, our, our, our bosses up there have uh, checked that and realized that uh, the level of poverty in this country, it's, uh, it's worrisome. And because of that, um, they have to design a system that can uh, suit, this, suit this country in which they have done the best from what we have seen uh, so far. So uh, Flotilla services must start with a subscription. Because why? If you are being activated on the FX tracker, you are being given the code to insert. Um, you really, you yeah, you can go, uh, you will see yourself on the map, you will see the backup, but uh, the system doesn't recognize you and uh, you are not live on the system and uh, the system is not tracking you uh, you're just there on the field without a backup but uh, when you pay subscription you are now going to be transferred to the live account and on the live account is where everything is being monitored and uh, you will enjoy your services so if you understand with me uh, when we pleaded with the company we they were able to make it uh, a different standard instead of uh, you pay the whole one year subscription. So instead of paying the one year subscription, um, uh, those with Android phone with version 8 below are to pay one month minimum of subscription. That same applies to iPhones uh, and laptops. Uh, you have to pay a minimum of one month subscription. Then uh, if you can keep paying, fine. And if you don't keep paying your subscription, uh, you are still going to be live. 
but uh, whenever you have a distress you want backup uh, all your pending uh, payments have to be done uh, for example if you pay the first month subscription and the service is on for you you are using the service and at the end of the day uh, the company uh, decides to you know uh, allow you to be on the live system but uh, when you your phone is lost or your car is lost and you have you call for the services of uh, flotilla and uh, flotilla have to check the updates to see if uh, you owe subscriptions so what i mean here is uh, if for example you set up uh, the system in january and um uh, you paid january subscription and then you didn't pay february you didn't pay march you didn't pay april you didn't pay may then your phone got lost in june then you are going to calculate uh february march april may june which is five months subscription that is ten thousand naira at that point you have to pay that money before your phone will be tracked if not uh uh, uh you can't get your phone tracked because uh, if it's within plateau states your phone is tracked uh, uh flotilla uh, they pay for the police services because once you are already on this system and your phone is lost, uh, there is no need for you to pay for police whenever something happens. But if your phone was arrested or you are tracked in Kaduna or your phone is tracked in Bauchi State, um, you see that is uh, another jurisdiction in which there is some extra uh, uh, charges that must be paid. Some extra charges that uh, they must be paid. So um, um, you need to understand uh, what 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 we're talking about here. So um, you need to understand that uh, uh, once uh, you pay that one month subscription and uh, uh, you're live, you're covered. And once you're covered, uh, uh, any other thing is covered. So the security issue, uh, we settle it. But once uh, the tracking is outside uh, the state, you are going to pay extra charges for that. So all this explanation, you need to know it so that uh, it's the duty of the BA uh, to explain all this to the client or the unit uh, you, you, you are trying to install. So please, uh, I want you to understand that. Yeah, so... Um, the uh <clears throat> the motorcycles have to pay three months subscriptions with it at five dollars and uh the uh, other power bikes also the same thing uh three dollars for uh, three months i beg your pardon you pay three months subscription and uh, the tricycle which is the kekena pep is also five dollars but a uh, minimum of six months subscription the cars the cars are at five dollars also subscription six months up to the bus the lorries uh the trailers all uh, the, uh, which is at uh, uh six dollars and it's uh, also uh six months so um the, the trains are ten dollars subscription uh the planes twenty dollars the ship twenty five dollars and those are uh, you have to pay a full year subscription uh, and then next is uh, the trackers uh, you can see that uh, the mobile phones and laptops they don't need you to buy another extra tracker but once you are installing on the motorcycles the tricycles the cars the bus lorries trailers and whatever movable vehicle you have you have to install the tracker with the tracker prices at the last uh, column there so uh, the motorcycles uh, uh, tracker is twenty thousand uh the uh, the uh tricycle also is twenty thousand and um the car trackers twenty five thousand the bus twenty five thousand the tracker for the lorry twenty eight thousand and the trailer the tracker is thirty thousand naira so as you can see the prices of the trackers for the train plane ship uh when someone is in need you have to contact us directly so that uh we can give the best price at the moment and these other prices are due for review based on the prices of the commodities in the market so uh, this chart uh, i've taken my time to go through uh, to explain to you uh, how it works with uh, 
the prices and the different cat cat categorization of the devices that we have and if there is any other device that uh, comes up that needs the tracking services we are still going to upload and review but for now most of the devices that uh, we have on ground uh, fall under these uh, categories and uh, now um, um, we are going to so uh, we shall now uh, talk about the FFMS Plateau app I'm sure you all have it installed on your phone because uh, this application is not on Google Play Store you have to get this application from your service provider uh, this is not an application for the general purpose use but uh, only for an internal use where both service providers uh, installers uh, brand activators uh, users are always going to use to collect information so this application is de designed for plateau and uh, whatever you do with this application it shows that uh, you are from plateau and you're working under the plateau franchise so uh, you are being assured that uh, uh, whoever is in plateau uh, that wants to enjoy the service of plotilla you cannot go directly to the company in dubai even if you follow their contacts you call them or you send them an email for them to activate you they will never activate you because the flotilla services is uh, uh have a network and it comes from a franchise channel so uh, they can only refer you back to us and if you give it a try you are going to experience the same so there is no need to waste your time to try to uh, try to access the services without coming through uh, this uh, uh, network that we have. So uh, it begins from here with this uh, FFMS app. FFMS means uh, Flotilla Fleet Management Services Plateau. Flotilla Fleet Management Services Plateau. That's the meaning of the FFMS app. And once you install the app and you launch the app from your Android phone or your iPhone, this is how you're going to see the app look like. And then, uh, as you can see, uh, there is a cashier page and there is a create unit page and there is a submit report page. And there are other pages there in which we are going to pay attention to those three pages. That is the cashier, create unit and the submit page. These pages, uh, you as a brand activator, uh, you are going to use these three pages to ensure you send your uh, information, you uh, capture a unit and uh, you send everything, you make payments and you submit all the money you made and uh, this app is going to help you to go a long way. So you should pay attention as we talk about the pages one after the other first we are going to talk on the create unit page the create unit page uh, it allows you to uh, uh, collect the information of uh, a client uh, that is why we call it a unit uh, whether it's a car or a phone or a motorbike or whatever movable device you want to track uh, this is the first place that uh, you have to come and when you come to this page you you are to uh, uh, click on the uh, create unit which uh, is going to look like this and the page uh, you can see the first thing there is uh, it's telling you to please fill in correct new unit details so these uh, details are the details that are going to be uh, programmed together to ensure that uh, the tracking services is activated on each device so first you see the current date uh, you need to just tap it and you see the date and when you see the date you click ok it will show you the real time date that uh, you are entering this information uh, you don't need to tamper with the date you just only need to click ok and it goes to the real date the second uh, there is uh, the location this is the location of the units. Where is the unit from? It's not the location of the BA we are talking about, but at the end of the day, the location of the BA has to, co to, to correspond with the location of the unit. But now this is the location of the unit. If you are in Shandam, you put Shandam. 
you write shandam there and it is we are able to know that uh this unit is created in shandam so the next there is the ba unique id this is your id in which all the bas are supposed to have their own unique id which slide starts with uh, flt and uh it's a programmed id in which uh, two people can never share uh the same uh, id so that id is very unique and each ba has its own id so if you have your id you make sure you keep it safe you uh, keep it safe so that uh, whenever you are collecting the information you try much as possible to to insert the id so that uh, by the time you submit this report we are able to know that this report is coming from you if you are sali su nakande uh, mohammed and we know that this is your ba whenever you send reports this code will going to this led going to let us understand that it is sali su nakande that uh, is sending us the report so you have to be careful not to make mistakes because whenever you make mistake and you put another code that uh, corresponds to someone else ba uh, i think is going to be allocated for that person so please and please when you're going to be on this page you have to be very very careful and you uh, try as much as possible to uh, verify before submitting because once you click submit the report is going to come to the back end and uh, it shall be processed so the next is uh, the uh, uh, unit type the unit type when you click the unit type is a drop down as you can see there it's going to show you the options if it's a mobile phone a motorbike a vehicle a trailer whatever device you're capturing you have to select it here so that uh, uh, we will know the kind of uh, activation plan that can be associated to it because uh, if you are tracking a motor vehicle and you select a mobile phone uh, the services that it will be given to it is going to be error and uh, is going to affect that uh, unit and uh, whoever pays for services and does not uh, get it right is really really going to get mad at the brand activator so the brand activator you have to be very very careful to select appropriately the classifications of whatever units you are capturing so that uh, we can able to differentiate and uh, give it the right subscriptions so um when we go back and uh, the next is the uh name of the unit this is where we see some people uh put getting it all wrong if you observe um there are bas who uh when you send us your information the name of the unit you went and put the name of the mobile the make of your phone this is the name of the owner of the unit the name of the owner of the unit if you are joy samuel and you have a nokia n5 and uh, your the name of the unit is joy samuel and the uh, mob the model of the phone is somewhere else that you will impute in which we shall come to that but the name of the unit is the name of the owner of the car or the name of the owner of the phone or the name of the owner of whichever device you are trying to track on the system so please those who know that uh, you send us the name of the phone you are sending information or the name of your shop or the name of different things uh, please you have to send your reports again because all those who send uh, with wrong unit names uh, the system rejected them and uh, I beg your pardon there was no response that uh, the information you send is false so I have to address this issue now so that those BAs who have sent information expecting response, couldn't get a response, should go and do it again. And you put your name where you see the name of unit. Next is your phone number. Your number, your phone number, your original number that is inside the phone you are using. That is the number you are going to put there. This phone number that you're going to put there is your your main number and you make sure that you put it right, the number. That's the number of the units you are capturing. This is not the phone number of the BA. 
we don't need any information of the BA here as site as the unique ID of the BA. Any other information here is the information of the units you are capturing and you have to make sure you got it right. So the next is the IME number and uh, device number. If you are capturing the phone, it's the IME number which you can get it by pressing or by dialing star hash 06 hash on your keypad. And when you dial star hash 06 hash, you're going to see the IME number and you make sure you copy the IME number here rightly. If you are a hardware installer, uh, when we get to this place, is the device ID in which you are going to know which the device, how to copy the device ID from the GPS tracker. So for now, we are concentrating on the IME number since uh, we are first starting with the mobile phones. And if you are capturing a car, then you are now going to be giving the device ID for the tracker. Next is the phone or the vehicle model. The phone model or the vehicle model. If you're capturing a mobile phone, if it's Techno, you put Techno. If it's Joni, you put Joni. If it's Infinix, you put Infinix. If it's iPhone, you fix iPhone. This helps us get the full record of the device that uh, we are capturing for mistakes to be easily analyzed. Because uh, uh, we know that uh, life uh, in nature, we are bound to make mistakes. And But by the time we feel all this information right, uh, it makes it easier for us to uh, trace wherever mistakes are. So you make sure you put the right model of the phone. If it's Joni, don't go and put Techno. If, it's, if you are not sure of the model of the phone, you please ask or you check the settings of your phone about and you're going to see the model of your phone. So uh, please make sure that you get all this information right. Next is uh, the emergency WhatsApp number. This place, uh, I want everyone to pay full attention here because uh, this is where the uh, the technology is, uh, and this is an epicenter of the technology design. And uh, many people were asking questions that uh, if I have a phone and uh, the phone is snatched away, how can I even report to Flotilla? You see, because uh, maybe the flotilla contact is also in the phone. Now, this emergency WhatsApp number is not the alternate number of the unit owner you are capturing. This emergency WhatsApp number is the WhatsApp contact of someone related to the owner of these units. For example, if I'm capturing Mr. Bulu's and uh, Mr. Blues is uh, having a cousin in, in somewhere and he, Mr. Blues has the number of the cousin of heart and he knows, yes, this is someone uh, that I can easily contact if I'm in distress. And once you give us this number there, the number will be added to an emergency group. So the use and the purpose of this number is if uh, Mr. Blues have an emergency, and uh, they snatch his phone and he can't communicate. He can easily remember this number of heart and he can now collect someone's phone immediately and call this number. Once you call this number, you will not tell this number to make a post on that WhatsApp group that he has been added to type your name and say you are under distress. Let's follow up. That is all. Once you go to that WhatsApp group, and that your relative post this number and you post your name and said we should track you up then um so you must try um, as much as possible to uh put in the phone number of uh, someone that uh, you don't move together and someone who is somewhere you are somewhere emergency cannot happen to both of you at the same time and that phone number is the number that we expect you put it there and it must be a whatsapp number because uh, the emergency group is WhatsApp. And once you post your message, uh, everyone sees and whoever is responsible for that location will be addressed to and will follow up immediately. This is something that can happen within 10 minutes. And if your device is lost within 10 minutes, you can do this. I assure you that uh, your device won't be lost, 100% guaranteed. Uh, your device will be recovered successfully. 
But uh, if you fail to follow these processes and your device is lost and you go back home, you sleep over, you wait for some days before you want to start uh, contacting Flotilla, I think uh, you are the one who is helping the device to get lost. So please, I beg your pardon. Once your device is lost, you have to ensure that uh, you contact this emergency number and the emergency number should now post on the WhatsApp group for follow-up and tracking backups. This will enable all attention to go back on this number and all our engineers, our software team, Flotilla team are going to be on deck to ensure that uh, this device is recovered. So please and please try to understand this place. Um, next uh, is your email, the email of the clients you're capturing. And then uh, next is subscription. Uh, subscription, um, uh, you know, as we have explained, if someone starts with one month, you put one. If it's two months, he wants to pay two. We know there are people that will say, oh, yeah, why not? Let me just pay all the one-year subscription so that nobody will bother me. You see, these are people who really understand what the service is all about. So if someone pays 12 months subscription, you put 12 there and uh, you, you leave it like that. You don't need to write months because it's 12 you're going to put there. It must be minimum of one month subscription for the mobile phones and laptops. So the other uh, devices have their own number of months as is on the schedule. Uh, we just talked about before coming to the uh, FFMS app uh, practicals. So um, please, you should understand this subscription page clearly. Then this uh, picture, we give it an option. Uh, uh, it's either you, uh, if you are not sure of the IME, you can screenshot and update here, or you can snap uh, the, the owner of the units for us to have his picture so that he can give us more information whenever we are tracking because uh, if there is a picture or an IME, we can easily uh, put it uh, on the dashboard and it will be uh, of easy recognition. So, uh, but it's not necessary to snap the picture, but you have to ensure you put either the picture or the IME there. And then next you click submit. Once you click submit, um, uh, uh, it will tell you it's successful. Once you see that uh, you submit successful, um, then uh, you can you can uh, easily go to the next unit to capture. And uh, you make sure that you have this record on the paper. You just put something. There is a paper that we are going to give round to all the BAs to print out in which they can be having a summary of their daily captions. And you will see how you are going to use it on the report page. So for now, uh, this is the end of the presentation for the create unit page and we are going to look at uh, to the second page which is the cashier page yeah the cashier page is uh, is the uh, where all payments are made uh, whenever you want to pay money to flotilla you want to pay money for your services for uh, whatever you want to do such as uh, you can register where you register as a service provider, which is not why we are here now. Uh, you can register as a brand activator. If you want to be a BA, I, when you click on that option, it will make you pay for the t-shirts and um, uh, the banners because uh, it was 10,000 Naira, but uh, we have to consider that uh, we are in a hard economy and uh, we have a tight timeline to ensure that uh, the flotilla services go around. So, uh, if you click on that as a BA before you start, that is where you're going to pay for your uh, T-shirt and your uh, you'll be given your T-shirt, your ID card and the banner that you place in your shop so that people can understand that you are activating Flotilla services. You know, the company is embarking on a mass promotion, uh, publicity and awareness. And once you are already positioned, a lot of people will come looking for you so you have to look different from other people and you have to look branded and you have to show that yes you are a brand of uh, flotilla so please uh, you have to work on this so that uh, you can get your t-shirt which uh, uh, is required for each brand activator so if you're an installer this is the next is where you register as an installer and uh, the installers have two packages and we are going to talk more of that in the installation class. So uh, the payment for captured units, 
uh, the flotilla flood monthly subscription and the flotilla weekly subscription so all these pages there whenever you click them they're going to take you to where you make payments so now we are going to concentrate on the fifth option which is the payment for captured units payments for captured units so uh the payments for captured units are the units you capture daily and if in the morning you capture five units in the afternoon you capture five units in the evening you capture five units at the end of the day you capture 15 units and maybe the customers have been paying you cash at hand not through transfer so uh, a ba is expected uh, to convert all those cash received uh, from units uh, clients and you convert it to your bank account that you have an atm card so that uh, you can proceed and send the payment of the job that uh, you have done for that day so at the end of the day you are if you have to make the payment for all the units you've captured and when you want to make the payment you click the payment for uh captured units you can see it open the page which tells you that uh, it's a payment for units you see our company is there and uh, the daily target remittance for unit creations so the units you created you uploaded that day through the create unit option uh it, it, that has been activated you have to use this page to send the money so you put your name your names your email address your ba unique id so you see you have to put your ba unique id and uh, you put in the amount there when you put in the amount you click pay it takes you to the interswitch uh, payment pay portal where you can use your atm card to uh, make payment uh, all payments made through this flutter wave is highly secured and uh, is guaranteed so once you make the payment you receive a success notice and uh, you screenshot and you still keep it safe so that uh, it will be a proof whenever maybe there is a misconceptions and uh, the next is uh, the payment for subscription and uh, the subscription uh, without subscription a client will not go live and will not be given backup reports whenever in distress mobile phone users only are allowed to pay first month only but must pay outstanding or pending subscription before will be attended to by flotilla response team we have talked about that earlier and uh, it's still clarified here and uh, the subscription is very very important because uh, that's when you will go live so from the uh, charts uh, behind uh, you should know uh, how many months you're supposed to pay from the stats for whichever device you are capturing so uh, this is a place flotilla monthly subscription if you click it it's now going to take you to that page and uh, you make payment for the monthly subscription now uh, because uh, the subscriptions are into two so the monthly subscription uh when you go to that page you are going to uh click on the monthly subscription and as you can see there you put your name and you can see it's four dollars so this subscription link can also be sent to clients directly to make subscription at their own will because uh, uh, we made it easier for uh, a client not to be dependent on the uh, uh brand activator when it comes to subscription so a client can make his own subscription on his own and by request because uh, once a client make a request this link will be sent to the client personally and once the client pick it uh, you'll be able to make a uh, dollars four dollars payment which is fixed that is the price for uh, uh, mobile phone subscription on flotilla so all mobile phones are uh, subscribed at four dollars and you pay depending on the uh, uh, current price of the dollar at the time you are making your payment uh, as we can see uh, in recently the dollar is at a speedy rise and uh, in just a matter of uh, 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 two to three weeks the dollar rose in the black and parallel market uh, from uh, about uh, 500 naira to 700 naira in which uh, it has brought a lot of concern to the dollar market and uh, in which is a major concern to the country but uh, you have to understand and every customer have to understand 
that uh, you pay the current dollar price at the time you are making your subscription so uh, we also have the weekly subscription uh, which it's make and it's a, we, we made this an automated uh, 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 subscription option the the weekly payment system automatically deducts one dollar weekly from your bank account for subscription if you want to be paying the subscription weekly uh, and you are using this system this system will allow you uh, to bind your uh, ATM and once the time is due the date is due uh, it will automatically deduct one dollar from your account uh, and you will receive a notification depending on the value uh, of the price of the dollar uh, it will charge exactly on the current price so uh, this system is designed for those who uh, easily forgets that uh, they have a subscription to make uh, but uh, they uh, want to make sure that uh, it's been done since uh, they have funds in their account so once this system is being set up uh, you don't need to think about subscription you can only receive uh, alerts when the, the subscription is uh, due for one week so uh, credit to our company uh, young technical minds and for developing this and uh, we wish to do more so uh this is the page when you pay uh you, as you can see here that you'll be charged 500 naira weekly this was because it was screenshot when the price of the dollar was around that 500 but the final price will show when you click on the pay option when you to be charged for the one dollar if uh, the dollar is more than 500 they will charge you more than 500 so uh, you shouldn't have any concern about that uh, next is uh, the report page the report page uh, is where you send your daily reports on the job done that day that is a uh, unit captured and uploaded total payments made to cashier this must be done every day after work so uh, at the report page uh when you go to the report page you can see that uh please fill in with the right information first of all uh there is a a drop down there which is designation because this report page will be used by both service providers and uh, both brand activators and uh, it will also be used by uh, the users uh there are users who have specialized accounts and that uh, they want to uh, monitor their own uh, privacy and equipment private equipment you want to do everything on your own your father you want to track all your children your family you want to monitor where they are you are going to be allocated also a user account for that and that is uh, a special case whenever someone needs such service you have to contact us to ensure that uh, uh, no one will be jeopardized so uh because uh if we are going to track uh, someone wants to track his family uh we have a form that uh, the family members to be tracked have to uh, accept that yes you track them and uh, that we have to take care of that by ourselves so whenever the ba you have someone that uh, wants to uh, track his family uh, is allowed but uh, you have to uh, call our notice our attention so that we can guide you on how to go with that so uh let's get back uh, the next is the unique id so if you are a ba you put your unique id there if you're a service provider you put your unique id there and then you click on the dates uh, you press ok for the real time dates and uh, next is you write your report and your report is you put the number of uh, phones you track uh, number of vehicles you track, uh, number of motorcycles, number of lorries, trailers, uh, if you have to write it there in words, uh, if it's mobile phones, you put 20 mobile phones, that means that day you have tracked 20 phones, if it's 5 cars, you put 5 cars, then if it's 3 motorcycles, you put 3 motorcycles, once you put all this there under the report page, then uh, you add the evidences that you have your evidences are the summary of the list that uh, you will always use to uh, record the, when you were entering one one units then you snap it and add it here or if you have another vital information that you want to snap and add as evidence you snap and add as evidence so this page is for you to submit your report 
and once you submit your report uh, we receive it from the back end and your report will be processed and verified so please you should uh, take note of that uh, once you have submitted all this report and is verified the client will receive his device id through sms after successful verification the client will impute the id to the click to add unique id in the fx tracker app and press ok or submit button fx tracker app will show current location on map to verify that tracking configuration is successful so uh the fx tracker app is next because uh after you have finished that message uh, sms will be sent to the uh, clients you captured and uh, the client will now receive uh, a device id in which uh, before the client leave your place you are expected to walk him through uh, the fx tracker and for you to have the fx tracker once you have captured the device uh, information you are now expected to locate the google play store or the itunes store from the uh, unit phone and you download the fx tracker once you go to the uh, the play store and you type fx tracker uh, it's going to uh, show you some related applications but uh, the fourth in the on the list here the fourth in which you see f and uh, you see the x is a sign of a map uh, icon so uh, that is the application and you have to make sure you really really download this application and when you download this application you install it and after installing the application you launch the application once you launch the application it's going to ask you to select the region you are because the application supports all region in the parts of the world and we our region is africa you only select africa and you click ok or submit button you don't need to press anything you don't need to put in any other information all you need to do is to select africa and click ok after you select africa and you click ok uh, it's going to show you the uh, interface of the app and uh, you are going to have only two options the first option above is to click to add unique id or the other below is to click to request unique id so uh if you click to request unique id you are not going to get any response but uh, if you click to add unique id uh that is when you will now tell the client to go home and wait for 24 hours or 48 hours depending on the hour time he will receive in the first sms because he will receive an first sms uh telling him that uh uh, his request has been received and based on the other requests that are on queue uh, you have to estimate the time waiting and he will receive it in the text once the, receipt, the request is being processed uh, he is going to receive a second sms uh, and he will receive the uh, device id that is expected to impute in here so once he gets the device id you will now tell him that he should put the device id there and click ok once you click OK, it opens up the interface of the application. And once it opens for the first time, it shows you your position on a uh, Google map. So you, ex you, you are expected to uh, make tracking active because in the beginning, the tracking is inactive because you can choose to be active or inactive you by yourself if you feel you're safe you're where you don't want to be on record you don't want someone to follow you you don't want someone to track you and you can make the tracking inactive but if you are on emergency and you want to be covered you have to make the tracking active once the tracking is active then uh, you are going to see yourself on the map and now this map as you can see the blue point is the position that is your current position so anywhere you are you are going to see it like this so this is where you are and the server uh, flotilla is also seeing you at this point so once your phone you are anywhere you go and you make sure your fx tracker application is on and running is expected to show this record like this as you can see and if you want to see more of the maps more of your location you are expected uh, to uh, click on the map options and select hybrid map to view real-time 3d satellite maps the uh, map option is the first picture you see here 
like a triangle and uh, when you click that uh, image you're going to see the drop down option on the second image which is uh, the base map the street map the google terrain map the google satellite and our open hybrid so you click on the open hybrid and once you click on the open hybrid you zoom it you are expected to see uh your location and every structure and everything in real time and it's wow you're gonna see your current location if you are at the roundabout you know you are at the roundabout if you are in this building you will see the point is going to be on this building and it makes it easier for intelligent report to follow up a location on real time so wherever your device is wherever your car is wherever everything is so um um this uh the, you see yourself and uh, you can be able to know so now if your phone is being taken from somewhere and is currently at this location and you have made the emergency report and uh, you know it's easy for the system to detect that this is where the phone is and the flotilla will send uh, the information to the police and the police will come to this area and keep following the phone while the tracker is on how interesting this sounds like a movie the movie what we used to see in the movie is what we are now about to do live to ourselves so um once you are watching on the tracker in which uh, we are soon going to share the video of how it works you see how it's in video the video version that you're going to see the movement if the phone is moving if the phone is moving on the street it's going to show and we're just going to communicate the cops hey hey go behind that place move to the right move to the left go to the way where, where, where all these things is what we are going to be giving uh, intelligence information to make sure your phone is recovered you see with this uh it's going to go a long way and it's going to help you to uh have backup and whenever you are in distress or it's your car or your phone or whatever device you have or whatever my tricycle or is it kena pep you are going to get cover so uh this service is a real-time service and is uh, very very important for uh us to uh really really make good use of it so uh for start now we advise all bas uh, should use the ffms app to capture their personal phones and upload for activation right now now this is the first assignment that all the VAs are having to do and uh, you have to do this assignment immediately immediately after uh, the end and after uh, uh, the presentation uh, you should capture the information in the create unit page from your own device and uh, you upload for activation uh, this is to experience flotilla services before marketing to the general public you know there is no way you market a product that you didn't use there is no way you can market a product that you didn't enjoy and so you have to enjoy the product so that you can do a very very good marketing which is, uh, is still part of uh, what we shall discuss in our next topic uh, uh, tomorrow uh, but for now uh, this will also help the BA uh, to practice the activation process because uh, if you capture your phone and you, you activate your phone successfully, you receive your code, uh, I think uh, you're going to be glad that uh, you have been tracked now and uh, you can ask more questions about it when you have done that. But for now, you need to do that and you have to make sure you choose one subscription and uh, you have to uh, uh, make sure you uh, send the payment for the subscription and you know how to do that in the cashier page you, the monthly subscription page is there and you can go and, and make your own subscription because you have to uh, sus click uh, 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 click on that page so that it can take you to the payment portal where you can use your ATM cards to uh, to to pay your uh, subscription so uh, when you pay your subscription you are going to go immediately on the live account so that uh, you can be able to uh, practicalize it for your uh, clients uh, you can be uh, anywhere with your clients and you can call your uh, service provider and your service provider will tell you where your location is so one thing that you need to know is uh, uh, every client uh, every unit can be private uh, you can choose not to retract and uh, and even the location can only show your actual point accurate point 
but it won't show any privacy whether you are in the room or you are in the you know in the kitchen but if you, someone knows the house very well from outside then you can be able to predict but uh, the location is very very accurate and it's going to help with uh, a lot of information so please and please uh the service providers are in charge of that so the bas uh cannot uh monitor the clients so all the clients that the bas are capturing uh the bas cannot be mon cannot monitor them it's only the duty of the service provider to monitor and uh, you can only contact the service provider when uh the clients have uh distress when the clients have distress and they need backup that is uh, when the service providers are going to check on those clients and uh, bring out uh, intelligent uh, information. So uh, August 1, uh, we are all waiting for August 1 activation because uh, that's when we are going to start activation officially on the plateau and we expect that uh, BAs will start submitting reports on this day. So you please get prepared for the flotilla official launch, uh, publicity and uh, awareness because uh, on august 1 we are going to have flyers we are going to make sure all the bas have their t-shirts we are going to make sure that all the service providers are ready to work and we are going to ensure that uh, we have start capturing units and from august 1 we start sending uh, reports and we see the job that we are all doing so uh, please, I want you all to put uh, more emphasis on August 1. Even if you start recording or capturing now, uh, there will be no response till August 1 because uh, that's how the system has been designed. So uh, let's expect August 1 so that we can start uh, activating the flotilla services uh, on the plateau. So uh, in conclusion, uh, I want to assure you that uh, uh, the flotilla services will never disappoint except when the user doesn't uh, use it well for example uh, the app have to be on and running so uh, if you want to travel or you want to go somewhere that is unsafe you first on the app and you put your phone in the pocket you have backup don't expect that because we understand that there are a lot of android phones that terminate applications running for a specific period of time uh, the main system on the server from uh, Dubai can give you those records, but uh, the easiest way is if you want accurate uh, record and accurate information, you have to always check that that app is running. So if your phone always terminates application, you are not uh, going to be uh, too cool with that. So whenever you want to embark on a journey that you expect to be tracked, please make sure that the app is on and running. So all this information that we talk here are information that the BAs need to know and the BAs need to share all the vital information to the clients that they need to know because after hearing this, you are supposed to know how to uh, address the clients. So please and please, you can um, repeat this uh, uh, presentation on and on and on uh, till you understand what uh, we are talking about here. Uh, that is why we choose to make a PowerPoint presentation and, and to make it uh, real time and live so that uh, everyone can uh, easily understand what we are up to. But uh, after going to this uh, presentation and uh, maybe uh, uh, you, you, you have uh, some uh, questions and uh, you, have, uh, you need answers, and uh, maybe uh, you want to uh, ask a question or you you know you can ask the question uh, on your platform and uh, we are going to respond to you all so uh, you feel free you ask the questions you want to ask and uh, we have uh, a week now to for august one and uh, we can address all challenges but please uh, you should make sure that uh, you do what you need to do and uh, let's uh, make it out so our next presentation on is going to be on uh, capacity building training on marketing flotilla products and services so we advise you all to watch out for this as uh, we are um, um, going to give you tricks and we are going to uh, uh, train you on how you can be able to uh, 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 convince the people and the general public to use our services so uh, this is going to be tomorrow uh, in our next class or uh, any time we agree and but we have to make sure we give that class uh, on and on and on even as the activations begin so i want to thank you all 
and uh, I want to uh, I want to appreciate you for 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 staying behind and for listening to this presentation and I want to uh, wish you all the best and uh, I will take your questions anytime uh, that you post it uh, I will uh, assure you that uh, I will respond to it so uh, thank you very much and uh, uh, have a, a lovely day thank you very much